Baby, baby. Okay, so I, mean, I haven't done a vlog type of thing in a good while, so I, I'm a little bit nervous. This is a change for the first time. We are going to uh, not, I'm not addressing you guys. I'm not addressing subscribers, um, anybody who watches the video. From now on, I'm gonna be addressing my husband, Alistair, while he is deployed. The point of these vlog, fuck. I feel like I don't know how to do this anymore. Uh, okay. So for the most part, uh, you know, there's really no shortage of what you and I getting to talk. Like we do almost every day, but there have been days where we haven't been able to talk. And also there will be days in the future that we ain't able to talk. So um, really these vlogs are for you on the days that we're not able to talk so that you can sort of just go to YouTube, watch one of these videos. I just want you to be able to, I don't know, like I'll just show you my life here and try to help you to feel more a part of it as much as possible really um, I know that's gonna be hard but just feel more like you're here with me and the dogs I don't know we'll start from the night you deployed I guess <sighs> the night that I dropped you off I, we, we, I took you a couple hours early so that you could get everything set up you could drop your bags off and then we would have some time to just spend together before you had to go what are you feeling Loss, separation, depression. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be a little positive. Yeah. I'm not even nervous about it. I'm just don't want to be away from you. Why are you worried about taking another bag? Take four. It's fun. Baby, I don't want to stand out. <laughs> yeah. I already have the bougie bag. You're the most famous person here. I am not famous. You're gamous. Gamous. Is it weird being here? Yes. So when we would go and drop my dad off for deployment, we'd go to the airport with him and they'd let us like back into the terminal with him. And uh, a small airport uh, in Montgomery, I think. We'd go in the morning, we'd drop him off at the airport and then we'd leave. Um, and so this is weird, this whole thing, is like everybody here with their families and um, you guys like set your bags out. It's just like, it's different. Um, this is more in line of like what you would think of when you think of dropping your soldier off like for deployment in the movies. Really? Yeah. I think that what your father had was more in line. Well, no, because all, everything I ever saw was like you drop your soldier off at the, uh, you know, for deployment or whatever and they all get on a bus or something. Like, I don't know, some like air hanger or something like that. Yeah. But, I don't know, it's weird. But I gotta tell you, like that night, it was, <laughs> it was really tough. I've never had heartache like that. Uh, I, I felt it when I saw you, you know, in your eyes, tears welling up. And I just remember right at those last moments when I was, I was just hugging you, holding on to you just not wanting to let go and I could feel your grip on me and it's just it was breaking my heart <laughs> it really was and then you walked away um, I was in an empty parking lot I, I saw the other spouses kind of get in their cars and drive off and I just kind of stood there and watched you walk I just wanted to see you until you you were not there anymore and then when you walked like you walked be, beyond the buildings um, and I couldn't see you anymore and I just stood there and I just, I don't know, I couldn't move. I couldn't leave the spot, I guess. And I got in my truck and I sat in that parking lot for a good 20 minutes. Just <laughs> being a little bitch, that's what I was doing. I remember going home, I drove home to our empty house. It was almost empty, it wasn't quite empty. I still had a whole lot to do, but I took that night and I just, you know, it was like 10 p.m. and I just, I just sat in that empty house and my dogs, the dogs were at my parents' house, right? So I, it was just me there and I felt, I just didn't know what to do with myself. I didn't, I couldn't lay down and go to sleep. I just felt anxious. I had so much anxiety and I felt like I just needed to do everything. And so I'm like running around the house, cleaning stuff up. And I kept thinking of how you were feeling sitting on that bus and, and driving off towards the airport and getting on the airplane. But, you know, <laughs> I was upset, but I had I had one day after that to get us, get all of our shit out of that house. I just felt the urgency and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna keep my mind focused on one thing and I'm going to just focus on, on this. This is the task at hand, yes. The situation sucks, 
but I can't be sad right now. I got responsibilities, and so I got to just do that. And that's what I kept telling you too. Whenever you would call me and give me an update and you were upset, I would tell you, um, just focus on the task at hand. So you are at this location. You need to just focus on getting to the next location, right? Uh, just don't dwell too much on being sad. But then when I'd gotten, you know, us all out of that house, I, you know, cleaned the house all up, um, moved everything to storage, everything like that, and I handed the keys over. I drove the four hours back to Brownwood. Uh, I got to Brownwood and I didn't know what the fuck to do. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I was just... I didn't have anything to do, that's the thing. Is I, I, and when I don't have something to do, I, I, I start to stir more and I, I get a little crazy. And it's just, that, that's when I started feeling the depression um, and the absence of you. Hey, Hello? how are hey, you? Jack. Hey, you can't see me because my phone's broken, but um, this is the only way I could call you. I've been trying to call you, and then I realized I don't have service in Brownwood. Oh, well, I just wanted to call and see how you were doing. Uh, I'm okay. Um, I mean, it's it's hard, but, you know, what are you going to do? Have you been able to talk to him at all? Yeah, he's called for, like, really short periods, um, like, here and there, uh, just as he's been traveling, but... Um, I think they got there today to the final destination and, uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, so but... That long? Yeah, they were traveling for a while. You know, I've been, uh, I'm on, uh, Facebook, uh, for moms and dads, uh, of, uh, West Point graduates. Yeah. <clears throat> One of the things that they said, well, what are you going to send for Christmas? And a lot of them said they just go to, like, uh, the dollar store and send Christmas decorations, and I know that would be a big thing for him. You know how he loves his uh, holidays. Yeah. But then I got to thinking, well, would that make him feel more worse? But no, I think it'd make him feel really good, actually, because I think it'd give him, and not just him, like the other people there, because they're all feeling it, too. And so yeah. they, they'd have the sense of spirit. Um, I think yeah. that's a really good idea, actually. All right. Well, give uh, your best to your parents. And, I will. Uh, I have no idea, honestly. I, they, I think everybody they else knows. Eight. Everybody else knows. I don't know. <laughs> you're, you're just avoiding it. <laughs> so we'll be getting two nephews because Jamie's having a boy too. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping for a girl, but uh, <laughs> I have all these, these uh, boys as ne uh, grandsons. But yeah. so I told Alex that y'all need to have a girl. We can. Well, we can pick ours. And I think sitting in Brownwood for too long, actually, it was, it was not good for me. And I stayed a little bit longer in Brownwood than I planned on doing. And I, I just don't think that was too helpful. I was, you know, really just, just kind of existing. I wasn't really, you know, being productive and, like, doing anything positive. And really, if you're in a shitty situation, if, you, if you're feeling down, if you're depressed, like... Do something positive. Make it. Try to make it positive. I've always been like that. I've always been okay. Well, this, you know, this is the situation. It sucks. And if it's a situation you can't change, you can't change it. So, just try to make the best out of it and do something positive. And so I was like, okay. Well, I've been sitting my ass, you know, in Brownwood for a week, and I was only gonna stay here for like two days. So I'm gonna pack my dogs up, pack my truck up, and I'm gonna go ahead and head to Alabama so that I can get my house set up, get my, get the keys to my apartment, get the house my apartment all set up and get the dogs on a schedule you know the dogs were house trained they were not apartment trained so i have to get the dogs apartment trained and like i said i have responsibilities i have to work i have to i can't sit on my ass so bucked up did that and you were doing the exact same thing you're there over there to do a job and so you were doing your job like after a certain amount of time i got to start talking to you more and more and then we kind of settled into our new normals because, you know, we had our old normal. Now we got our new normals. This is our new normals for, you know, the time that you're gone. I wish I had you every evening like I used to, you know, 
us on the couch every evening after work and getting to just watch a movie and sit with the dogs and really just spend time together, but I don't. And that's the situation at hand. We can't control it, we can't fix it. Like, we just have to make the best of it. And so, I'm glad to get to talk to you. Uh, I'm gonna try to make more of these videos for you. And we're just gonna do our damn best until you come home to me, baby. <laughs> I'm so excited for you to come home to me. I keep thinking of all the stuff we're gonna do when you come back. I don't know what time it is right now, but I can't wait to talk to you this evening either. So, <laughs> uh, I love you very, very much. Next, next video, I think I'm gonna do a house tour and show you everything set up and everything just like put together and I bought a new couch and everything and uh, just show you all that and then show you sort of what me and the dogs do on a daily basis, just our mundane stuff. So. Um, I love you very much. I hope you're having a fantastic day, baby. I hope it's not too hard and uh, be safe. I love you very much. Bye.